Hi there, welcome to Creating a Future We Want, our learning series, and uh, believe it or not, this is, this is still a, a what is a garden project, um, 30 days of adaptive action. This is day like 30 and a half, <clears throat> or something. <laughs> 30.5, got it, yeah, yeah, um, and uh, my name is Matt Keane. Mine is Cora. Keen. And I'm Kiara Keen. Uh huh. And uh, and the garden's outside, and we're inside today. It oh. is freezing outside. <laughs> it is. It is very chilly. That's part of the reason we're inside today. But uh, another reason is that in our last conversation about the garden, we were talking about what are we learning. Now we use adaptive action as the process by which we engage with this question. This uh, complex, or this wicked question, um, this tricky question, what is a garden? Now, adaptive action consists of, it's a sort of, we use it as sort of structured um, conversation, semi-structured conversation, where we use three questions to structure that conversation. What are the three questions? What, so what, now what? What, so what, and now what? <laughs> that's right, that's now right. Now. And uh, so the last, and we, in order to engage with, uh, to use those questions, to bring those questions to bear on the, the topic of interest, like what is a garden, we bring um, a question, another question, a different question with us every day. And, um, and our question that we had in the garden last was, um, what are we learning? What learning are we finding in the garden? And here, I thought we, that was like, what learning are we finding outside? What learning are we finding inside? And then what are the, some of the relationships between the learning here and the learning in the garden? And, uh, and how are they the same and, and different? So I wanted to ask the girls, um, you all, right now, um, gosh, well, just right now, what are you learning? Um, and maybe we can just sort of, you know, I'm actually going to start with a starting point. In a complex system, starting points are very important. So in this conversation, I want to start with where does our learning start every morning? Um, well, the first thing that we do every morning is we write our list um, in our notebooks. Um, so I have a planner. She just uses her notebook. And we take our pencil and we write everything that we're going to do that day. All the activities, all the schooling things, um, like things from like a test all the way down to, I don't know, making lunch. Um, things like that. We write down like playing with friends or doing gymnastics class or something. I can show you my list for today. Could you name a few things that were on your list for today? Yeah. Um, first, can I find it? <laughs> While she's looking for some of the things on her list today, um, what do we start out with on Sunday evening or Monday morning as a starting point for the week? We make our week's list of everything we want to accomplish um, by the end of the week, like Friday or Saturday. So what happens to that list as we go through the week? Um, things get checked off. Things get added to it. Um, yeah, we accomplish things. Like we always think of more things or things to add on to things that are all, already on the list. So what did you write down for your list today, Cora? Um, castle, which... I, um, like, a few weeks ago, or, like, maybe, Don't yeah, tell a, few, them. I was a, few, here. a few weeks ago, like, I had made a story, I'd written a story in my notebook called, um, just the, the cat, the castle fights back, and now I am rewriting it, because this is the printed version, and now I'm rewriting it in my notebook, so, Castle is on my list, that one, the castle story, read, so I pick out a book that we have, and 
I read the book, and I have these this reading challenge on uh, on a little like whiteboard on the on the wall, and where there's thirty little circles, and um, each day we read a book and we cross off a circle and and then we finish and it's 30 days of reading and yeah oh, oh and i had already done one and i got a prize at the end uh, a lego castle <laughs> were you excited about that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. did you know anything about it before the reading challenge well, I knew there was going to be a prize, but I didn't know how big or good it was going to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how about, uh, tell us the next uh, couple things on your list for today, Cora. Okay. Um, terrarium, which I'm going to clean out my terrarium. I'm going to probably find some, like, big logs or things and put it in. And I'm going to put it on the desk right here. Okay. And... Like maybe this weekend it's gonna be really warm and I'll, I'll find some frogs outside because mm. the frogs will like to come out. Cool. Mm. And I'll put on my list for every day when I have the frogs. Take take care of pets. Frogs. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us what the what's the last thing on your list for oh. today to work on? <laughs> Curriculum. Okay. Beautiful. Now um. I'm going to, Cora, thank you very much for that. Um, so what's the, uh, actually, let me move on to, to you for a moment, uh, yeah, to explain to us what the, what is, what does our curricula, curricula, curriculum look like, or how do we create it? Maybe that's a so, good So, what we're going to do is... Me and Cora are each, are each going to take a blank poster and we're both going to write on the side a list of everything that is on our curricula and then... Well, how do, so what do we do to decide what goes on the total list of everything we do? Well, we write down things that we're doing now we write down things that we might want to do in the future or that we're going to do in the future for schooling or activities. Um, yeah. So what changes on, so how does the curricula change uh, week to week, month to month, or throughout the year? Um, well, we think of new things. We add new things. We... I don't know, maybe we don't do so many things on it. We just write down a list of everything we can think of that we're doing, that we want to do. And then we just do all that we get to, all that we can do. Or um, So what might cause it to change? Um, if we um, think of new things to do. So what might happen that... So Cora, for your curricula, what might happen... So what might happen that causes you to add something to the list of what you want to do this year? If I get a new Lego set? Okay. How about you, Vieta? Um, if I start like another sport, maybe, hmm. or a different activity, or I get more into like some thing in schooling, like for example, math or reading, like get really into that and okay. I don't know. Some, yeah, maybe some new books even or something like that. that you're, so one uh, more little bit here. So if we have a list here that we're developing that is evolving and changing, um, what do you do with all of these items over here? And I'll just note for, um, for anyone else that we've done this a few times now um, for our annual curricula. What do you do with this list? as we put it down there and as it evolves. So with that list, we make a systems map. So like we make, um, doesn't really matter the shape, but usually we do circle, do a circle of like a main thing, like reading. 
and then off of it we put different activities that involve reading or different books we're reading and like do math different ways we do math or different things um different methods of math or something um or activities like gymnastics and soccer and things like that so what's another that's what you did so if you notice we got into some of the now what uh, but so what um does it look like as it goes from a list to to this as you said systems map what what's that sort of what's like, it look like just to describe it in case somebody hasn't seen it it's like a web of relationships mm. um a lot of circles they are all connected and related in some way almost all of them are connected to something i think um like for example playing piano that can be art and music and an activity um let me ask um thank you that's you know that's that's fantastic cora um she just said it's a web of relationships that our curricula ends up sort of looking like can you tell us anything so what do we know about webs or networks of relationships in the garden what about the garden has taught us anything about relationships well there's, Kevin, no, talk that way. there's so many relationships in the garden and in the house mm. outside and near and one of them might be like the 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 plant and the and the soil. Yeah, yeah. We said web. We see some literal webs out there, mm -hmm. don't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to push the pause button there for just a moment. Uh, the double lines and the red button. Which is high. Okay, we're back. We just needed a little a little regroup chat there. Everybody, you know. Okay. So. Girls, what else are, so what else are we learning um, or doing? Maybe you could say, like, what are we creating? So what are we creating? Cora. Well, you're creating art. So, like, I... It hold, you can hold it up and talk towards the hill. So here it is one i i i painted a pumpkin and a rock next no it was an egg actually i don't know why i drew. i painted an egg and yeah and then i i did it kind of with a lot of shading so it looks like a real pumpkin and what um what did you use to paint it um watercolor 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 so okay. Cora or Chiara, thank you, Cora. So Chiara, you're um so what so why what inspired you to work on this piece of art? So this it's like a pipe in a field of um green grass and um a field of corn or hay or something. And it inspired me because... Or, I'm sorry, what inspired you to create this? Um, let's see. We were doing, um... Um... It was, it's called something, this type of art. Ah, a surrealism. Surrealism, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, our mom was, is, was, um, she likes to do art a lot, so she was teaching us how to do some art. This so, is Cora's surrealist painting. Yeah. And, uh, it's okay, you can just uh, describe it really quickly there. Um, well, here's um, a road. I made a road leading up into the sky, and then there's a little imaginary castle 
land of wonders and there's mm -hmm. little vines hanging mm -hmm. down. Beautiful. Tipping to the and side. these are both made with acrylic paint. And the uh, the question I believe that you brought to it was something like how does nature and technology relate or yeah. something like that. Yeah. You're, okay. Yeah, nature and like human made things, technology. Right. Okay. So what is something else that you have been creating? Um, another pro project or artwork. Yep. Yeah. So here's a tree that I painted with watercolor. We were practicing shading and lighting. So this side of the trunk and this side of the tree are lighter than this side and this side, which are darker. <laughs> and I did one. It's a pepper. It's a pepper. And, well, this one we were doing patterns. Ah, so, yes. It was a question about uh, what patterns did you see yeah. in the garden? And I saw a pattern where it was red, green, green, red, and the so red green red green and i thought that was a pattern and then i made a little polka dot blanket that it was sitting on <laughs> so what is another project that you have been working on um or something else that you've been learning through a project well i do ensemble um like a more formal choir i guess where everyone has parts I'm a soprano, so I'm using um, binder and music um, and learning, um, we're learning Christmas songs right now. Um, yeah. So some of our other projects, uh, girls uh, created over the last year a book called The North Story. They self-published that. We do a lot of cooking. Uh, this is a recipe book. Here, uh, Piara is uh, studying um, graphic design and created an herb journal for one of their projects with the homeschool group that we work with and made that journal available to, to her friends. And I just wanted to, and the, this is a wildlife of Peru as we study Spanish as a part of our education as well. So girls, I wanted to ask, um, now what would you, now, what are we going to learn next? Um. Okay, we'll just as say close it out there. Thank you for visiting Creating a Future We Want, uh, the Our Learning series, ending our project called uh, What is a Garden? 30 Days of Adaptive Action. And we're moving into uh, what project now? Um, game Month. Game Month. We are going to um, engage with um, maybe sort of the question, what is a game? Finite and infinite games. We're going to be learning about strategy and tactics and disciplines and go discipline and goals and rules and cooperation, collaboration, teamwork, competition by playing a different game every day or learning a different game every day and, and sort of studying it. So hope you'll join us with that. So if someone wants to say bye. Okay. See you soon. Thanks for visiting. Ciao. Bye-bye. I said Shira. <laughs>